As I mentioned earlier, um, today and we're dropping our interview from MBAA with Phil Michaels with Volato. Volato Aviation is a Florida-based operator that is focused on sustainability. And so they have worked with the Honda Jet, which is one of the most fuel-efficient uh, light jets in, in the world. And, and that's one of the reasons why they do it. You know, it's a four-seater, goes about 422 knots. It goes, you know, super high. And it's the most fuel-efficient jet out there, you know, as we take a look at it over here. And what I love about it, about Volato, is what they're doing is they are partnered, and it shows they are partnered with a company called 4Air. 4Air is a company that is helping balance the scales. So basically what 4Air does is they partner with Volato and Volato will send them, you know, a log that says, okay, this month we did a hundred hours of flight that equates out to whatever number of carbon emissions. Okay. Let's just say, I don't know, like 400 units of carbon emissions. I, I, don't, I don't, as you can tell, I don't really know much about carbon emissions, but let's just say, you know, 400 units of carbon emissions. And so what 4Air does is 4Air will, will takes funding and with their funding, they will fund programs that will offset those 400 units of carbon emissions. Could be a wind turbine, could be planting a forest. Uh, let's take a look at some of their programs. But basically, Volado will charge a you know an eight cent or an eighteen cent surcharge to their flights, which will get passed along to Four Air, which will now fund their program. So let's see if we can check out some of their. Voluntary programs to relic, regu, regulatory compliance. Looks like they've got um, they've got uh, some inventory stuff going on. They've got windmills stuff going on. They've got facilities that they're. Uh, oh, that's right. They do. They do. They work with facilities to make them more carbon neutral um, as possible. So this is this is a great program. You know, for air dot arrow. You know, check that out. And so that's kind of just some of the good news. But I wanted to get on here and drop this episode, number one, because it was timely because I made that oops mistake. It's, it's timely because, um, you know, obviously, you know, we're dropping the Volato interview today. But I, I just wanted to, to speak into that narrative that we hear so many times, you know, the big bad corporations flying the private jets. And, and, and th I'll tell you this. They are aware. Private aviators are aware of the carbon footprint that they are leaving and they are working towards bettering that okay they're they're working on better manufacturing they're working on more efficient fuel a uh, sustainable fuel um actually in the disney and I, I, I didn't show this to you but in the disney article they talked about a couple of manufacturers that are doing some stuff so let's take them here the industry, the private aviation industry, which has been working to reduce carbon output for nearly 15 years, has pledged to achieve net zero CO2 commissions by 2050. Okay, we're looking at sustainable aviation fuel, which can cut carbon emissions by up to 80% is becoming more widely available. Um, and they just had oh, more of their are ways today that only offset the carbon emissions. I'm talking about stuff like four air. So there are different you know things that the aviation industry is doing as a whole to to limit their footprint. And I think you know we're we're trying to be as responsible as possible you know for this planet. So I wanted to throw that out there. If you want to find out more information about this, you can connect with me you know on on LinkedIn, uh, on Instagram, on YouTube, of course. Check out Velado. Check out the Safety Wire podcast. Check out 4Air for all the great things that they're doing. And uh, I thank you so much for, for checking out the podcast today. We really do appreciate it. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to check out the ultimatejetguide.com.